Hello and welcome to the Prestige Reef Talk Show. Uh, I am Alex, aka Reef Talk, and with me as always is Ryan, aka Prestige Reef, who has finally sorted his name out and spelt it properly and not put a silly message. Oh yeah, because last time it said <laughs> Alex Hegg's Tangs and that didn't work yeah. for me because you won the last one, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, so, I did. To both mine and everyone else's surprise. <laughs> Uh, and the first thing to say is if you've just clicked on this video because you want to know what the top 10 angelfish are, there will be timestamps uh, in the little bit below so you can skip back and forwards uh, and ruin my uh, algorithm. Plus, so... we just make up as we go along. So <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> They're our top 10, not necessarily the top 10. <laughs> yeah. Um, and a couple of things. Firstly, ML Rubber says, uh, just a public thank you for the corals bought from Prestige. Genuinely awesome stuff, and he knows I'll be back. Thank you very much. And so you, prestigereef.co.uk, the yes. UK's number one coral selling website, <laughs> is, <clears throat> I've, so I've bought a lot of corals from, on, or I've bought from a fair number of online coral sellers, yeah. and there are only two that I would use personally now, and that's your place and Signature Facts. And prestigereef.co.uk is genuinely... An thank you very much. Thank, for thank you problems. for um, the uh, what was it like the review? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> indeed. Not just the review. What is it when someone's like someone important says something? Yes, endorsement. There you go. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and there you go. And the second thing to say is, uh, my voice might sound a little bit rough today. I had a, uh, a surprise stag do yesterday, <laughs> so which I didn't know was happening. And I, uh, uh, I am a Southampton football fan, uh, and I had to wear a Pompey shirt. So Big Dave saying, play up Pompey uh, for Pompey Reefer. Uh, that was my punishment. But there we go. Um, anyway, hello, everybody. Come in, take a seat, grab a, uh, grab a cup of tea. And we're going to talk about angelfish. Because today we have got uh, 10. So if you've got five, how many angels have you got on your list? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm Bloody I'm hell. 16. <laughs> I thought oh. I thought I'd like I have a whole range just in case you know we pick similar ones. Fair enough. All right. Well, I I've, still want to go first. I want to go first. It's I, very important to go first. Hmm. Right, well, I've got nine, but basically we can do five each, and that's the top ten, and then we'll get to the end and we'll rattle off the others that are like honorary mentions, basically. Yeah, because into. there are some that we don't think that will win, but they're still cool angelfish. So good to know about, basically. Um, and what else did I want to say? Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so podcast. This uh, uh, stream is live stream is available as a podcast, of course. And this week it hit a thousand downloads. So you can either it? download it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Google Podcasts. Um, a thousand downloads isn't isn't a lot. <laughs> it sounds like a lot to me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's across the whole like seven eight um, uh, live stream, uh, podcast. But anyway, um, but there we go. Yeah, so it was a nice milestone. Uh, thank you everybody for downloading the podcast. Uh, member questions next. Member questions, right? So there were two member questions. One you might be able to help with Ryan, and I know what your answer is going to be. Push button reef says any tips on how to fix a permanently jammed Red Sea reef mat. Why is it permanently jammed? That's the thing. With it, I don't know. This It could be... I don't know what no, it is. I, I don't know. Obviously, I've only just got one, so it mine's definitely not been jammed yet. <laughs> no, yours yours just didn't work. Yours yours didn't turn at first, did it? But then you just left it and it started working. Yeah, yeah. So maybe <laughs> it wasn't... I, 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 maybe I was using it wrong, basically. But did yeah, you do uh, anything at all? Do you uh, change it? Oh, I, I, I pressed... The, there's a button on the side that helps it roll around. Um, so I just pressed it for like three inches or something and then left it and it worked after that. Right. Okay. Cause I sold, I've had, I have two, well, I now have one cause I sold one of them last week Yeah. and the guy who got it had the exact same issue. He's like, when you press manually, it was turning, Yeah. but when you don't, it doesn't turn automatically. So I wondered if you had a, and that's why I texted you asking you, I wonder if you had a clever sol solution, but your fix was just to leave it, Ignore it. <laughs> let it fix itself. But... <laughs> so how do you fix a permanently jammed Red Sea Reef map? No idea. I, it, I don't know, find out what's jamming it but uh yeah have a play with it break it down um they're quite easy to take apart is one of the good things about them uh, and email red sea is what i would do yeah that's true um what else was i gonna do uh ffs alex is a scammer right what's going on what have i said i think he was talking <laughs> about your foot your football t-shirt that came in just yeah. after that 
Gotcha. Um, uh, and the second question was from Anthony Holland, who says, I just wondered your opinion on whether to use Kalkwasser or Reef Marine Buffer. Now, I'd never heard of Reef Marine Buffer, so I had to Google it. And it's a Seachem product that uh, increases calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. So it's a one-part dosing solution, um, which and it all, but it also increases uh, pH, which um, all tropic marine alpha reef doesn't do. Yeah. So uh, on on, in, on paper, that sounds like a really good product. I don't know if it's really expensive, and that's why people don't use it. But it sounds very good. But I don't know anything about it, so I wouldn't use it. <laughs> that's that's the problem. I don't, I can't tell you my opinion on something and i won't ever tell you my opinion on something that i don't know about someone just said ryan sit up i'm just going to move my camera slightly down so i can have to sit up <laughs> <laughs> um and bubbly reef alex ill he's not ill he's just a little bit hung over because he had a stag do yesterday <laughs> uh but there we go so um i want a red sea reef mat next picked up a red sea reef mat two months ago great bit of kit massive upgrade from the bubble makers there we go. I know we just started, but can we have a top 10 butterfly fish next? Uh, we can do actually. dwarf butterfly fish next. Dwarf, oh, angel fish. dwarf angel fish next. But butterfly will be on the list, so we'll, we'll get there. I, um, I was thinking about that today, and I just thought, what angel fish would I pick? <laughs> not angel fish, what butterfly fish would I pick? There's not that many I like. <laughs> there are some nice ones, but um... I'd have to literally <laughs> Google them. Um, yeah, okay. so... But you, so this is the thing, you really like angel fish. You're like yeah. a bit of an angelfish pervert. And yeah. I'm like, some of them are cool, but the big ones I don't tend to like. I don't like big fish. I don't like big fish. I don't like big tanks. You don't like fish that eat coral either. <laughs> so I don't like fish what? You they eat coral. Like, they eat coral. No, no, yeah. no. Who does? But it's um that's that's why <laughs> I don't particularly have any interest in butterfly fish because I've never I've never had um a butterfly fish because of they eat coral. So Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Well, in which case, uh, that was it. Also, oh, yeah. Okay. You know what? Let's let's crack straight. I knew on you weren't show. listening then. So, <laughs> you just went. Yeah. What did, yeah. What did you say? Sorry. <laughs> about, I'm trying to read the comments. Sorry. I said, said something about the, the, the meeting coral. The, the, no, the reason neither of us have interest that much interest in, in butterfly fish, which is why that stream will be hard, is because we've never really had them. Because we can't have them because they eat coral generally. I yep. know you've had two: a copper band and a pyramid. And a, no, not pyramid. Oh, yeah. I've had three actually: a pyramid, a copper band, and a long nose. Although the long nose. I had two of them and they died very quickly. Yeah. So, but yeah. <clears throat> um, all right. So, Ryan, then. Oh, we, Kit, you, given you're so desperate to go first for some weird reason, <laughs> it will <laughs> yeah. soon become apparent it's cheating, I'm sure. No, it's not cheating. The reason I want to go first is because I know this one will definitely be on your list. And, mm. oh, um, you it, bastard. It is actually my favorite. Of oh, the, you bastard. It is actually so my favorite. Cheating of the angelfish oh, and it is it is the is a cool so some angelfish look cool when they're juveniles and some <sighs> angelfish look cool when they're adults but this one looks cool both times um and the other thing is it is the most reef safe of the angelfish which means most of you can at least attempt this if you wanted so it's got it's basically got everything going for it when it comes to angelfish and that is the regal angelfish ah <sighs> I knew right. you were going to go for that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I we both get, were, to be fair. And actually, I you've, you've, there first. <laughs> you've said before that um, <clears throat> that uh, that's your favourite. Yeah, um, yeah, that is my favourite. <clears throat> and the only reason it's not going in the angelfish tank is because I actually will probably will get one for the angelfish tank as well. Um, but I've had one before, and it, it's not a challenge. It, like, you've got one, and if you've got it, then basically anyone can have it. So... Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. Uh, and uh, well, hang on, I was coming here. Ryan went first last week. Yeah, yeah. Ryan. It doesn't right, matter. It. What you should have done while I was while I was while I was hyping it up, you should have just gone regal angel fish. <laughs> I was thinking of doing that, but um, uh, okay. Well, We're gonna have enough. to get a picture now of a regal <laughs> angel fish. Well, we, I've got both. Uh, all because I'm a professional, and as I say that, I just realised that I've not got the screen lined up. Because I'm a professional, I have both lined up right here, ready to go. Bang. Regal Angel on the left. Uh, and oh, I'm sorry. I've, I've, you're on mute, Ryan. Okay. <clears throat> you're going for a blue face. Interesting. I Yeah, I'm putting this up against a blue face angel fish. I would not have done that. Why, uh, why not? Oh, there's way... Like, we're too late now, but there's way better options than a blue face. The, do you know why I've not... What, so if, I've got four others on my list, of course. Do you know yeah. why I've gone for this other, rather than another one? Because you think you can win the next one. Because I've got no chance of winning this. Because Regal Angel is, in my opinion, the best or the coolest looking 
um, uh, angelfish. <laughs> just, just to let people know, uh, this is actually really important information about regal angelfish. Only ever buy a yellow-bellied regal angelfish. Um, the you've got yellow belly, haven't you? Correct. Not specifically you, but your regal angelfish. Uh, yeah, yellow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you they come with a yellow belly or a, a silver or grey belly. You don't want the silver or grey ones. Their survival rate is incredibly low in comparison to the yellow bellies. Is it, was it something to do with where they're from? Uh, yes, it's how they're collected, the distance they're collected, I believe, and also the the methods of which they're collected. Because there are still unscrupulous collectors out there. Um, so the for whatever reason, the re, the silver bellied regals, regal angels, have a very low survival rate. And as you can see, they're from Indonesia. The uh, orange ones are Red Sea, which are the best ones. Yeah. Okay. So I have a Red Sea regal. Oh well, I have a a yellow belly. Yeah, yellow belly, lily really livered. Sorry. It's tank bread, isn't it? No, I was going for a tank. I was looking for a tank bread one, and I actually I reserved one to buy it. Came back a couple of days later, and it was dead. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, I remember. The, <clears throat> but um, you, you haven't got a juvenile of the regal because a lot of people have seen an adult regal angel, but not a lot of juveniles come in, do they? Uh, there we go. So this yeah. is <clears throat> mine. Is not a juvenile, but this is um, mine has its adult colours. This is what they look like when they're small, and I've only seen these when I've seen. Uh, captive bred ones yeah yeah and a, a lot of large angelfish are blue like the you know the shit one on the right you know <laughs> i don't know if it's right or left on your <laughs> screen yeah, yeah right. the shit blue faced yeah a lot of them start off as blue whereas the regal is one of the rare ones that starts off as a different coloration yeah and they, well, they look cool as they look cool as a, like you said as junior and as as um as senior <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah man oh, i'm disappointed i'm gonna 76% so far in favor of um, the Regal, which could have been worse, but that's that's a pretty sound defeat for me, I'm afraid. Well, uh, hopefully they they keep we keep going in that direction. But this <laughs> is so my, Michael Peachy gets it. He says tactical round loss, lose the battle, but win the war. Exactly. I've ret I've retreated, I've saved my best men for the next yeah. battle. Okay. Um, so I can uh, I can pull it back. But yeah, God, I got it. I'm gonna tell you what, when we do angelfish, I'm going first because a butterfly fish, I'm going first because then I can have a copper band. <laughs> no, not a problem. Someone just said, Ryan, did you forget the genicanthus um all star bright colored females? Mm. I, I, I so don't we'll, come, we'll come on we'll come on to genicanthus later because what the, one of those is on my list. But, I've got um, one on mine as well. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Actually, I've got two on mine. I think it'll be a different one, but so so Stevie G and his reef say what size tank is best for the regal. A live aquaria recommends 125 gallons, which is basically five foot. Yeah, my tank is four foot, um, and I he'll, it's mine is relatively small. It's not junior, juvenile, but it's relatively small. But I think he'll be fine in there. I'm not planning on rehoming him anytime soon. Years. They're not. They're not. From what from the one that I had, it wasn't very fast growing. It wasn't like really, really fast growing. Like some fish, you can see noticeable differences. Mm. Whereas with my regal angel, it did grow, but not huge. And because they, they get massive, obviously. Um, but I doubt it. 10 was inches, all... says Live Aquaria. Well, that is massive as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> but that, yeah, I, I've never seen one that big. But so I, I have limited experience. I've had one for seven months. Yeah. Um, and mine's been very peaceful. A lot, yeah. they're quite, by reputation, they're quite timid. Mine hasn't really been timid. He's. It's not he's not boisterous, but he doesn't hide all day long. Yeah. So he's been good. And he's not touched anything coral wise yet. Yet. There you go. <laughs> so how what's your experience with them? But just like completely. Oh, mine was great. My, I got I got a regal <sighs> angel. I, I went through a state, you know, when sometimes you know it's a a, a, a um what is it? Like a dramatic event in your life, mm -hmm. and you want to go to a bit of retail, retail therapy. Well, I've always <laughs> wanted a clam and I've always wanted a regal angel fish. So I thought, you know what? I would get both on the same day. <laughs> Got the clam for the regal angel fish. <laughs> well, the, the, I was I, when, I, when I got home and I put them in, I was like, this is definitely a bad idea, but it didn't touch it. Did it, did it ever touch it? Hmm, so, interesting. Um, yeah, it, it, it was like good as gold. The only reason I don't have it is because it jumped out of the coral trays. It was in the coral oh, trays. Oh, you said, yeah, and it, yeah. Yeah, and it jumped out. And it was like my favorite fish. And I, I've never seen an angel jump out before. So I was surprised, although um, the the king eye angel definitely um, it, it, is a jumper as well. It's not, there's a lid on that tank, so they, mm. that won't go into the tank in the house until I get a proper lid made for it, because uh, I wouldn't want to find that crispy on the floor. 
No, for sure. Acrokeeper1000 says, a friend of mine has a Regal in a 1,000 litre tank and it's about 35 centimetres, so one yeah. foot, two inches long. Yeah. So a live aquaria lying. I would say that's Good. a more accurate size of 35, yeah. 35 <clears throat> centimetres. There you go. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, yeah, they're just wicked. They're just they're extraordinarily pretty. <laughs> they're peaceful. They don't seem to eat corals. I've seen plenty of people. I've seen enough people say they eat zoas and SPS polyps. Um, so it's not that they're like they're not they're not without risk, but they're pretty low risk. From I could I, I did a load of research and I it, it felt like they were ninety percent as ninety percent chance of being a reef safe. Yeah, mine was literally as good as gold. Although possibly acans maybe. Um, I like how we've spoken only about the regal because you like a blue face is a nice angelfish as well. Blue also, face relatively is relatively reef safe. Do you know what? So, oh, really? See, I, yeah. I, I, I never had a, a blue face, but so the blue face is here we go. So, this is another one that does look good, junior and senior, juvenile yeah. and senior, adult. <laughs> um, and it looks a little bit like a poor man's regal, uh, emperor as a junior. Maybe a very, very, very poor. Oh, no, as a junior, yeah. It actually yeah, looks yeah, yeah. very similar to a Koran and an Annularis. Um, they've all got the same juvenile colorations. There you go. And I think it was quite cool. And these, I've seen these in shops, and they do get fair. I mean, all, all large angels get big. Yeah. But I've, I've seen, where I haven't seen many regal angels big, I've yeah. seen plenty of blue faces that Huge. are massive yeah. already. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so there we go. All right. Well, I don't know what so, a, a golden marble angel fish. Someone's mentioned in the in the comments section. I've never even heard of. What's your opinion on the tank size for a golden marble angel fish? Asks Shamila Butters. This golden. is going to be a freshwater fish, probably. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I had one of them. <laughs> it was called a koi angel when I when I bought it. But this was a yeah. This was freshy. Yeah. What tank size? No idea. It's fresh water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically. Um, maybe it's a different one. I don't know. Um, Josh Powell has one that is very shy. Do you think adding more fish would make it more confident? I only have uh, a trio of clowns, a sail thing, and a copper band within my five foot tank. Maybe like a dither fish effect kind of thing, rasses yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> Additional fish do make a difference, basically. Mm. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it was weird. We don't really talk about that. that's a massive thing in in freshwater. They always talk about dither fish, as in fish that are out and about all the time that make other fish more comfortable because they're like, oh, you know what? If that fish is out, that means there's no predators around, so yeah. I can be out and about as well. And it's a thing in the saltwater hobby, but we don't really. It never really gets talked about. I don't think I've ever seen anything anyone talk about it. But there you go. You can do a video on it now. <laughs> yeah. I'm going. Something. I'm going to make one this week for it, or next week for it. <laughs> Something that nobody has ever talked about. Yeah, that'll be yeah. that'll be that'll be great for views. So. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> but there we go. Yeah, there's. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is about um, my setup that is good for the uh, for my regal angel. Maybe it's that it's mature. It's a load of uh, corals, a load of stuffy rocks he can peck on. Um, most of my fish are pretty peaceful. It's so. the same with a lot of uh, with a lot of fish. You as long, you have to get a good one to start with. Because if you have a ship one at the shop, it's never gonna. It doesn't matter how good your tank is if it's if it's no good at the beginning. Yeah. Then you're you're uh, it's a losing battle. That uh, that's a massively underrated underrated um, part of choosing a fish is getting the oh, right yes. specimen. Because so, so so often you'll you'll be like, do you know what? I want a a clownfish, a regal angel, a, a pipefish, whatever. And yeah. you go to your shop, and if they've got one, you get it. <laughs> yeah. Whereas the better way to do it is to look at a hundred of them because yeah. like so the 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 the, the, th the thing is with choosing a new fish and what i do now if it's a fish that i don't know anything about like if it was a majestic angel i've never bought one i've never really researched them yeah not not in any great detail anyway so i do a bit of reading i'd go and see one in the shop and just look at it and then that's it and then go if you can see because what you notice when you after you've seen a, a, a five different specimens or ten different specimens you start noticing different things yeah yeah and it, it might be oh actually this one it's got a red mouth. I wonder if that's because it's unhealthy. There are little things that you notice that are different that make that show you that tell you that they're a bit more healthy and they might yeah. be the shape of their belly so that you can tell that they're not going to starve, all these sorts of things. And you just you don't you can't learn that from research. You only know it by seeing lots of specimens. Learning willpower, like incredible yeah. Yeah. willpower to resist livestock is one of the most valuable things you can learn in this in this hobby. Because like there would be countless times where I've gone to a shop, seen a fish I like, 
and then 10 tanks down there's a fish that's sick and i'm like nope I, i'm not i'm not buying yeah, that fish yeah. because that one down there is sick <laughs> <laughs> countless times but and the thing is though and this is it's it, the, the polls finished by the way 75 percent prefer the regal angel unsurprisingly 25 percent the uh the blue face but that was with 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 that like when i when i was looking for a cover band i think maybe the first time maybe even the second time as well possibly the, no not the third time definitely the first two times i went looking for a cover band yeah i was like right i've done my research i'm gonna go and buy a cover band and i saw a cover band and i bought it <laughs> But actually, <laughs> it's and uh, it's just so. And the the last time I did it, when I got the one that I currently have, yeah. and I made a video on the Reef Talk Extra channel today, actually, and I said he's looking fine, he's looking quite yeah. healthy, he's actually looking a bit a bit thin. He's How's he's it? okay, but he's not looking. He's he's looked fatter in the past, so I need to fatten him up a bit. Anyway, but when I saw this one though, uh, I felt I, I went in looking for uh, for one, and I, I saw some that had lymphocystis, which is yeah. no not really a big problem, but. I just don't want any any impairment on them whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. Some that were a bit too small, some that were a bit too big, um, some that you, you when you find the right one, you get the shop to say, "Can you show me it feeding?" And it doesn't feed or doesn't feed very rapidly. Yeah. And then eventually, I saw one that was perfect. It was the right size. He had a nice fat belly or fat enough anyway. He wasn't thin. He was eating like crazy in the shop when they put food in. Yeah. Um, looked really healthy. No problems with him. And I said, "I'm going to come back next week, and if he's still here, I'll have him." I came yeah. back the next week, and he was gone. But that was fine because the copper banded butterfly fish are the, they're the most popular fish in the hobby, basically. I'm not I'm yeah. exaggerating, but so there'll be another one. It, yeah, but it's, yeah, so, cool. it's so difficult and it's worked out better for me because of that. So, so, but it's so difficult to think, no, 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 I'm not going to buy it today. But I've kind of, that's, I, I find it easier to do that now than I did five years ago, for example. Yeah. <laughs> Willpower. I've Willpower. grown personal growth. There you go. You're learning, you're learning good yeah. tips with us today. <laughs> exactly. That applies to life, and I think, as James well. James has, uh, has less. I know, I saw that. <laughs> this basically this this should be called this program. This channel should be called Life Dog because you can apply oh, life any lessons. message and any learning. <laughs> yeah, any learning whatsoever from yeah. uh, reef tanks to to uh, to life. <laughs> you know, nothing yeah. good happens quickly. Don't rush things. You know, patience and all that stuff. And James says he's got less willpower than a toddler in a sweet factory. Yeah. Then James, you are more than welcome to come to the coral farm. Bring your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, and a, 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 a shop admin question: Reef Dog, can you ask Ryan? Uh, will he start shipping to Northern Ireland anytime soon? <laughs> I don't know if the new deal that they did with the Northern yeah. Ireland Brexit and everything will make a difference for corals. If it does, I will ship. If it doesn't, then I can't. It's as simple as that. Trust me, I would like to ship to Northern Ireland. I'd like to ship the rest of Europe, but um, but obviously I can't. Do you know what? Fakem is a nice part, nice place for a holiday, isn't it? So yeah, like know. great place for a holiday. Yeah. Um, there's, also, they've a got shops. Shop nearby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. They've no got shop. roads. There's a shop. A don't... shop. Yeah. They're, they're, oh, yeah. Don't say shops. You'll get people's hopes up. There's roads. Yeah. Uh, you know, what else do you want? Shops. And Jamie is one of my favorite. <laughs> oh, I can't say it because Jamie's wife might be listening. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I thought I had willpower until he came to Prestige Reef. That is very true. He has very strong willpower when he comes to see me. <laughs> so Jamie bought a couple of corals for me a couple of weeks ago. And he came oh, out yeah, and yeah. I had a couple of others, uh, some some nice ones, to be fair, on the, on the rack as well. And I was they like, were very cheap, weren't they? they very were. cheap, just in case his wife is listening. <laughs> <laughs> they actually were as well. So I paid, I bought one. Uh, and, and it turns out, when I got it back, I realised I had it. I've already had it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And so I paid like a hundred quid, and I sold it for half that or whatever. So actually, it was it was a good deal. But like, all it took was that's nice. And he was like, "Oh yeah, I love that." <laughs> so that's the willpower. And well, you stay think... you stay away from one of my number one customers. <laughs> I know, but I think that's what we're all like, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. Um. Anyway, all right. So, uh, 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 Brennan's Reef says, uh, Reef Talk, I buy fish and reserve them at the shop a lot, but don't take them home the same day. I tell them I don't have space for it yet, and I'll pick it up later that week. I, I never tell, so that's good. I, I, I'm always, I, I'm always honest. I just say, Look, can I reserve it and pick it up next week? I don't always do that, but when I, if I do reserve a fish, I'd, yeah. I'd rather be upfront with them and just say, Look, can I buy it and come back next week just to make sure. <laughs> I have an interesting question. Not question. I'm interested in your perspective. If you paid for that fish to reserve it, yeah, 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 and that fish died, 
like, do you see what I mean? The shop could have sold that fish to someone else. So I was about to say, so some shops, <clears throat> some shops don't like that because they're they any fish that they keep can die at any moment. Um, most of the time they won't, but it can do. And yeah. there are time, and that's so the regal angel fish I reserved when I when I spoke to um, it was reef keeper Moss End. I spoke to them. I said, look, can I reserve it? And they were like, mm, <clears throat> we don't tend to do that. But you're a celebrity, uh, right? So we'll do it. For <laughs> well, you. Basically, because I'm in there every weekend, and I have been every weekend for the last seven years, <laughs> so they know me, and they like yeah. they were like, all right, look, we'll as a one-off, and I don't think they do it all the time, but they <clears throat> they let me reserve it, and it died a few days later, but I hadn't paid for it, and they did say, look, I said, look, do you want me to pay for it now? And they were like, look, don't pay for it now because if it dies, you know, we're gonna have to do your refund anyway. So, so, yeah. and that that's the, but that's why I'm doing it. So if if I buy if I buy a fish and pay for it and say I'll collect it next week and it dies. I'm yeah. getting a refund. That's all there is to it. <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> because I've the because the reason I'm doing that is because I want to make sure that it's it doesn't settled. die. <laughs> yeah, just because if like if it's just come in and this one had just come in, it not been in it not been in the shop more than a couple of weeks, I think. Might yeah. be might I might be misremembering. But that's the case. That's the whole point. The, the reason you do it is because you're like, it looks fine, but I want to see how it's out. I want to make sure it's okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I I understand. It's just it can be as you said, in some shop might not like it. So but some, some, yeah, some people don't. Um, some shops don't like it, and some shops won't do it. In fact, probably I wouldn't be surprised if most don't do it. But yeah, but there you go. But if you go in every weekend and spend a lot of money, they're, and they're celebrity, do, don't forget that bit. <laughs> and you know how famous you are, then uh, you get looked after better. And opinionated reefer says, "I had a look through Ryan's shop. Seems a bit pricey." Ouch! I actually don't think you're so. There, there are there are three main online sellers in the UK. There's the Coral Center, Prestige yeah. Reef, and Signature Frags. And I actually think you occupy completely different niches. So Signature yeah, Frags is high end, fancy aquapora mostly, and yeah. quite expensive. I'm sure they won't mind me saying with small frags. Yeah, uh, and that's no bad thing. I've spent a lot of money there a couple of weeks ago, and I'm very very happy indeed. Yeah. Um. The at the bottom end of the of the the the, the scale is the coral center that sells not very cheap. bottom cheaper. end, cheaper end. I think is your. No, I, I'm not. Yeah. I don't mean bottom end. Like. Uh, yeah. I'm just just. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so they sell. What I'm saying is they sell uh, beginner friendly hardy corals, and they're very cheap. Yeah, and I think you are in the middle. I think you have a mix of you don't just have hardy corals, but you do have hardy corals. You don't yeah. just have spicy, high end, fancy stuff that's really expensive, but you do have some of that. But even then, I don't think you're mega expensive. I bought a jelly bean chalice off you a couple of weeks ago for 175 quid, and that's that's not cheap. <laughs> but for what it was, yeah. that was less than I would expect to pay in most shops. The, the other thing is, uh, so, so the as you know, more than anyone else, the pictures on my website don't give an accurate representation to what you usually get. In a good way. <laughs> In a good way, yes. You get yeah. a much better, much better. And there's one other thing that I, that there is a little, like, trick, not trick, but I'll let you know. So basically, if I have a, a very low number of a specific amount of corals that I need to grow them out, I'll put the price up slightly so that less people buy them. But they're still available because you need to... <laughs> With the worst thing about coral websites is you see a coral that you want, but you can't buy it. So yeah. it's a deterrent if you make it slightly more expensive. So less people are inclined to buy it, but it's still available if someone wants it. If you see yeah. what I mean, that's something that I do do because it allows them to grow out Supply with some of the demand. rarer pieces. Yeah, that's basically how gambling works. When you've got a favorite, the bookies change the odds <clears throat> if they're getting too much money because they want to put people off making more uh, bets because they'll lose money. So. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and Michael Peach has seen jelly beans. <laughs> everyone's gonna, oh, yeah. everyone's gonna rush to the website and try and buy them now. <laughs> I know, yeah. It's a really, it was the thing. But the one thing I've done, I've started doing now, and maybe only in the last year or two, maybe not even that. I can't, I couldn't tell you. But like when I went to your farm a couple of weeks ago, I had, I had a few corals that I wanted to buy. I didn't have them in mind as such, but I went in and I was like, I want that one, that one, and that one. <clears throat> and then after I'd chosen them, I said, How much are they? And that yeah. for me is, and what are they? <laughs> that is yeah. by far the better way to do it. And I did that when I went to Signature Frags. And actually, annoyingly, basically, I chose yeah. all the most expensive ones. <laughs> and it was the same here. But the, <clears throat> but the, and so that's the downside. But the plus side is you get like there, yeah. there are a couple of corals. That one in particular, that jelly bean chalice. I saw that and I was like, I thought it was something different actually. But I, I saw it and I was like, that's really nice. I want it. And then it because yeah. sometimes if you see prices and you see something that's three hundred quid, it can make you think, "Oh, that must be nice." <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, so it's, 
That's true. You, you're better off picking what you actually like the look of rather than exactly. And, and if it's so, and, and like so, I I've got a budget for corals. So if it's if it's beyond that budget, uh, well, never mind. But if it's within that budget, it doesn't really matter. If it, it, it what's the point of buying five corals that are boring yeah. when you can buy one coral that's awesome? Because then you get five corals rather than one. <laughs> I know. Well, that's the thing, and that's that's my approach. So. Uh, and James works for a bookie. That's not how it works. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Sounded good, though, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, all right. So we've done uh, uh, thirty minutes. We're thirty minutes in, and we've done one one fish. fish. <laughs> it's your turn to go first. You're damn right, it's my turn to go first, uh, and <laughs> I am going to go for the not the king, oh, but the emperor. Oh, that was going to be my next fish. one. I thought it might be. And this is just, I mean, uh, Emperor Angel Fish. Well, well, just... I remember I've got 16 on my on my list. So that was one of them. I, well, I was, when I said my next one, the next one I was going to slate is what I was going to, that's what I meant. Well, that, and so, the, like the court, so these are, so they, the, the only thing I don't like about these is they get big. Yeah. Um, and they uh, eat and, coral. I mean, well, they're, and they're the, also super aggressive. They're one of the more reef safe angels in that they, I think they're, you could, Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 hang no. On. These are not one of the more reef safe games before you give people the wrong idea. <laughs> In that you see them with SPS tanks quite a lot. <clears throat> well. Uh, and and you might find that you get less polyp extension. Yeah. But that's when that's when they seem to do better. But max size one foot three, and I bet they get big. So this is another one where you see, if you see an adult in a shop, <laughs> chances are it's probably quite big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, that. Uh, and, well, it's because, uh, I think that's because obviously they, they change... Uh, they changed in from a juvenile into an adult a certain yeah. size yeah. so you know ne- i've never seen a like a little tiny tiny adult um no, i have seen a, quite a big juvenile if i'm honest i've only ever seen juveniles probably a little bigger than a, a flame angel for example oh no i've seen big ones like bit like okay. big yeah big big ones but i mean no, i've never seen one smaller than that <laughs> you don't see the little like the little 50p um oh, uh, yeah, glories yeah. <laughs> regal things yeah um, all right, well, so there you go. So there's the the one of the best uh, fish in the hobby. What what do you think might win, win against that? Um, <coughs> <laughs> oh, it will hurt me if it doesn't win. So if I, mm-hmm. I, I'm gonna go. Oh, no, because that's definitely not gonna win. Okay, I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for the angelfish that I just bought, which is the king eye angelfish. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't that, that. I had a different one on my list, but see. I um, I love this fish. Like every time I see it, I'm like, this is amazing. I love the color contrast between the the the, the white belly on it mm-hmm. and the stripes on it. And the other thing, I've I actually only someone messaged me. Uh, it was I think it was Rich Reef messaged me. Um, there's a difference between the juveniles and the adults, which I didn't realize. The adults have an orange spot on the side of them. My one doesn't have an orange spot. Which means it's still its juvenile coloration. Oh, I didn't know that, you know. Yeah, neither did I. <laughs> uh, let me just <laughs> mute that quick one second. Uh, and one thing, so, and you always accuse me of cheating and putting videos of the fish that I choose and photos of the fish True. you choose. So True. there is a video of the fish you have chosen. <laughs> and now, I've not done that for my fish. That is a almost reef safe fish. <laughs> well, okay. So how's he got on with the only coral you've put him in with so far, away? <laughs> He's he's doing good. He's doing good. <clears throat> Look, that is a that's a fish that the, the way that people when they see it they go wow that is a special fish. No one looks at an emperor angel fish and goes wow that's a special fish. They look at that and they go that looks like that looks like luxury. That's like that's like the Bugatti Veyron of of angel fish. <laughs> I'm going to shock you now. They are slightly pricey, slightly. How much? How much is the one in? Uh, how much? Well, how much are they in the shop? <laughs> uh, well, they seem to vary on price quite heavily. Um, so, what was the, the last time? Came... The last price you saw in a shop? <clears throat> the last time I specifically saw in a shop, it was seven thousand pounds, which 7, is the one at the Ocean Project, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's actually seven and a half. Oh no, it might be seven. Uh, do you know how much these emperors are? Like they're like, <laughs> probably they're like, like fifty quid. Like a quid, yeah. You buy ten so, of them. <laughs> <laughs> emperors are incredibly common. Where so if you want something that makes you feel special, where every time you look at your tank, you go, "I love that." Then get a king eye. But don't look. As I said, I think the price has come down. I think 
I like I hate talking about prices because I don't want to be so, someone yeah, that yeah. goes. Firstly, I did not pay anywhere near that for my one. <laughs> that, and and as I said as I said before, for me, it is classified as a tax deductible expense. So either my money goes to the government or it goes into <laughs> that angelfish. <laughs> so I'd rather have the angelfish if I'm honest. And it goes on the channel and it's exciting. Um, I am not crazy enough to buy a fish that's that expensive. Let's put it that way. Um, but yeah, I don't want to say. You're saying what, it would be crazy to buy king yarn. No, I'm, fish. I'm saying it is a fantastic fish, which has actually reignited my love of the hobby. Whereas an emperor angel fish, you put in, and I've had an emperor angel fish in a reef tank, and I hated it because it started eating my coral, and yeah. and they're so secretive that you can't get them out. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Okay, that's interesting. They don't. They, they were. It was a nightmare. Jack, I'm going to be completely honest. I knew I was going to lose this one. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not actually that keen on the king 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 eye angel. I think they're okay. Yeah, but like it, when they, when they first came, I know the first one I saw was north of ten thousand pounds, and I was like, I mean, it's cool, and you don't, I'd never seen one before, but there's no way I'd pay. Like there are some fish that if I had that money, which of course I don't, but if I did. Just to clarify, Go on. Um, you don't remember how last week you won with a gem tang purely yeah. because it was expensive? No, because it looks. Well, this cool. one is like a lot more expensive than a gem tang. Yeah, but that doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's not the gem tang one because it was a cool fish. Yeah, but that's and that's the point. It's like there there are some fish that and and this is what like I'm started doing with corals now. I go and I'm like I want that one. How yeah. much is it? <laughs> and if you if I went into a shop I, and and looked at if there were thirty angel fish, different angel fish. Yeah. I wouldn't point at a king eye and say, I want that one. How much is it? Yeah, but if you knew it was the <laughs> rarest and there's like not that many in the country, same <sighs> as the jelly bean. The jelly bean is not necessarily the nicest chalice. It's just it's, it's just one that's like quite nice. There's that other nicer corals. <laughs> the jelly bean in particular just caught my eye because it was it's not red, but it's that kind of color. It was just a really nice color. It just yeah, stood yeah. out. But the, the I, rareness doesn't. I don't know. Does it do anything? Rareness does... absolutely plays a massive role in what we do. It like in the it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You suck on, <laughs> but, but I yeah. don't get mega excited. Like when I think I think it's cool. If I see something that's that's like when I saw a king eye angel fish and they told me what it was, I was like, yeah. that's cool. But it's not it's not the be all and end all. I don't really care. And uh, and the the Doctor Seuss soap fish, for example, is another one that's extremely rare. I've only ever seen one. Um, oh, yeah. and that's one that you uh, uh you like, told yeah. me about recently <laughs> yeah, yeah. um uh, so you never see them but i like them not because they're rare it's partly because of it but mainly because it's a cool fish yeah. so the king eye the fact that the king eye is rare mm, it, yeah that does do something for me but i'm not mega bothered do you know what i and this is genuine like, i know i've lost this so it makes no difference now <laughs> i love when it when it goes in and out of the rocks and and when it like turns the tiger stripes on it uh, are like un in the right lighting are unbelievable they're like it's amazing to see and the reason i like it is because there's lots of similar looking angel fish whereas that one's very different to all of its like cousins okay it's true that there, there's I lots did, i just of... like, like the use of the word cousin <laughs> <laughs> you like the use of the word cousin do you we learn an awful context. lot about you reef talk <laughs> uh oh reef talk's gone, gone. oh for heaven's sake i think <laughs> Oh, I know why. Talk. Sorry, carry on, carry on. I know. Well, while I'll carry on, talking, I'll I decided to it. change my uh, my answer, so I'm no longer going with the key eye because it's losing. <laughs> so um, keep talking. But, well, I'll keep. Okay, I'll keep talking. One of the ones that I would like to talk to, to people about, or if you can show in a second, is actually, and I showed you this just before the stream. This is not going to be either of our suggestions, but I thought I'd throw it in there. Is a West African angelfish. Now, while Reef Book is being very, <laughs> Sorry, very back. professional with just a black <clears> screen <throat> he can't show you oh he's back he can't back. show you a west we're, african we're not going to do the west african angelfish because that is on the on the list Ooh, of um i just of... wanted to just fill in the gap <clears throat> i know and I, I appreciate that so i i, I unplugged the plug earlier and it was the anyway don't matter. um <clears throat> so we're not going to do that because just google uh, we'll, it people just google it <laughs> we'll come back onto that we'll, we will do it at some point later uh but we won't do it so here we go. Uh, Steve Webb says, I wouldn't give you a hundred quid for a king eye, pretty drab. <laughs> then, then, have you seen one in person, Steve? Uh, I, I think that I, 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 it's not that I, it's like that's that, that's a harsh opinion, in my opinion. Someone, Although, someone came, they might actually be listening to this live stream. Someone came today with their partner 
and the, and they i think they they said where's the angel fish and and i showed him the angel fish and then his lady friend went that is an ugly fish and i went <gasps> get out <laughs> yeah I, they might actually be listening. They did say that they that they might listen later. And I did say I was going to mention the fact that they said it was an ugly fish on the stream. It's not ugly. It's beautiful. But look, it's like <clears throat> some of us have more refined taste than others. Okay. Yeah. I'm talking. I'm, I'm at glad you could admit that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, yeah, there's. I I think ugly fish is a bit harsh. But that's that's the kind. There are some fish that if someone said to me that's ugly, like a copper band. Yeah. I'd be like, shut up, no way. <laughs> but with the king eye, that opinion doesn't offend me. Steve Webb's well, opinion doesn't offend me, if you know well, what I mean. <laughs> Does you, because we... <laughs> you've got a weird, like... unhealthy relationship with it. <laughs> As I said, I it's like that's that Dr. Zeus fish. Don't care for it at all, not even remotely. Mm. I actually think it's quite unattractive as a fish. Um, and I, I know about fish attractiveness. <laughs> Probably used the <laughs> wrong word when I said attractive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's um, yeah i don't see i don't see why you'd want the dr zeus fish at all but I, I think cool that's though. what makes this fun it's like each to their own yeah. some some of yeah. us are just wrong like you <laughs> all right all and right. all the people that voted for this last poll <laughs> exactly yeah getting bold there well i've ended the poll 70 percent emperor 30 percent king i i think king i's a niche choice as well so i know but i i, <clears throat> I didn't I wasn't confident that I'd win with the net with what my mm -hmm. next one is. So we're playing it tactically. All right. Well, in which case, let you me. You can probably uh, guess my next one. <laughs> we're current. Well, we're currently at one all, so it's yeah. delicately poised. Yeah. Uh, so Ryan, kick us off with your next one. Hang on I'm a going second. To go Hang on a second. <coughs> Regal blue face. Right. Fine. Kick us off with your next one. <laughs> I'm going to go for a majestic, which I you Ooh. probably could have guessed this because. Um, Majestics are also uh, there's three larger angelfish which are considered relatively reef safe. The regal is the number one, then the yep. majestic, which is the second, and then the third is the blue face. Um, obviously, there is a whole different genocanthus like section yep. which are truly reef safe angels, mm -hmm. um, but these are the ones that are like semi reef safe. So, I, I love a majestic, it looks like a child has carved it in. <laughs> this is this is the one that we should say. This is this is also known as a blue girdle, angelfish. Right? Uh, yes, I think Americans know them as blue girdle. That's it. So because I went on a not, that's that's sort of one that's half and that's that's still not oh, its full coloration. I'll tell I think you what, I'll, I think I've probably got a video of the majestic. I went oh. on Live Aquaria earlier, which is the website. By the way, Live Aquaria is like you can't buy stuff from Live Aquaria in the UK. Yeah. But it's such a good resource to, to for inspiration oh, yeah. as much as anything. Like if I I don't do it so much now, but a lot of the time if I want to buy a new fish, I'll go on Live Aquarium and I'll search down the list and just click on all the fish and find something that's cool. It's a really the person good resource. Who, the person who said that the fish was ugly is in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's salt box blue. It says she felt a little bad for saying it afterwards. Uh, she said it had a pug like face. It's getting worse. <laughs> don't, don't feel that bad then, do you? Uh, no, I agree. I think it's got, yeah, I think it looks like a bit of a bruiser. Mm. Yeah, go. sometimes people get a discount code. You're actually getting a, dis a price increase. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I don't have a video of a Majestic Angel, unfortunately, which is unusual. But anyway, now, so go on. <laughs> I was incredibly close. As I said, that's not an adult Majestic, I don't think. That's like a, a half transitioned one. Um, I don't think they had those white stripes on them normally, but. So these in these in the flesh. Actually, you know what? I know full well I have got a um. A, Just type majestic actually. angel. There's a great picture that was there. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I've got a video because I went to um uh, abyss. And okay. I can remember. I can now, remember seeing one. There as I said, majestics are semi reef safe. One of the more reef safe ones. Now, yeah. that is a blue face. God, you're you did oh, this with tanks. God, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. And again, that was a rubbish video. Why are you? <laughs> Why are you that's trying majestic. to like harm me so much? <laughs> no, that's not majestic either. We always oh. learn an awful lot about your fish knowledge when we do this. I've I've tagged two fish as a majestic, neither of which are majestic. <laughs> Sorry, I search, thought I had one. Literally, just Google majestic angelfish. No, no, I know, but I wanted a video. I've I've not got. All right, I've not. I thought I had one, but anyway. <laughs> so anyway, right, now, we'll, get, we'll get back with the picture. We'll get, now, we um, <laughs> which picture do you want, Ryan? I know you're sensitive uh, to these sorts of things. Well, any of them except the one that you had it over it. That will do, yeah, if it's a close up one. As if you can no, see it properly. Right. But I don't know. <laughs> this is this is taken in the wild from the looks of it. There we go. But 
Now, this fish looks like a child colored it in with a crayon, <laughs> is in my opinion. And it, as I said, it's one of the more reef safe ones. What I will say is that I have never owned this fish. This is one of the fish, that, again, that is likely possibly to go in the angelfish tank. Um, I was this close to buying one. It was reserved. And they said, yeah, it'll be fine with corals. And I went, can you do me a favor? Can you put a coral with it? And within 30 seconds, <laughs> it started eating it. That's and I was funny. like, yeah, it's not for me. Um, it, the coral it was eating was a mushroom, which they are. They, it's a soft coral, so they're known for. Uh, and then the anemone actually i think you're fine to see oh, oh, oh well mister i'm not even sure what a majestic angel is i know I've, and i've got there was another fish I've, I've tagged as a majestic angel i don't know what it is but it's not majestic can i see what it is just see if i know totally it is. different uh no i've lost it i've, I've oh, I was just it. intrigued it's but easy just I'll... type in majestic angel will come up <laughs> but i just, i like i like sharing videos um the the fish i'm gonna go for is this and this is gonna win frankly Gonna win hands is it, down. Firstly, is it cool, reef safe, coloured in by a child? Any of those things? Uh, it's uh, it's a gold flake angel. Oh no! You do seriously? No. Look like, at that. Remotely. They're like that is an ugly fish. <laughs> that actually no. genuinely is an ugly fish. You couldn't uh, give me one of those. Look how well, like, vibrant like and, that. and bright the orange is on the left. That one looks like an ugly king eye, basically. But yeah, so you know, like, so I, you, a minute ago I said it, it does. I can understand why people wouldn't like. There are some fish that I'm like, you know, what if you think that's an ugly fish, I get that. What the hell is that noise? I actually don't. <laughs> I genuinely do not like gold flakes at all. That the gold flake angel fish is 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 one of those fish that I think is absolutely stunning full stop and i'm amazed that you don't like it that you feel that strongly no, look well what, what what's the poll saying uh the poll is uh heavily in your favor 85 percent. wow well, i don't think we've had a poll this strong <laughs> well no not today no. it's true okay interesting i just think they're mate and they're, they're, so the gold flakes are quite expensive here live aquaria 500 dollars, and in the uk when i've seen them they're about five six hundred pounds um, so yeah, you're getting tank bread now as well, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, I don't know, but, um, so th that, and that, I, that's the kind of fish that I think is, it's fair enough that they're expensive. Not even they're remotely cool. like but, uh, just very quickly in the chat, which one of these fish, not knowing based on what uh, their actual price, which one of these fish do you, would you expect to be more expensive? Gold flakes are ugly. They look like they've been grated <laughs> by a cheese grater. Outrageous. I'd rather have a cre okay. Someone said they'd rather have a cream angel than a gold flake, right? Just I want to be able to ban some of these people <laughs> because a cream angel is is one of the least attractive angel fish. Cream, cream, you kidding? Cream angels, cream angels, blah. They are on my list of honourable mentions. Are they? They're not even. You just they, you don't they like even them make it corals. onto my list. The cream angel, and I have like owned one. Corals, I though, owned a cream angel. But it ate all your corals, right? No, it killed my copper band. I was like, right, you've got to go, you little bastard. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I'm going to lose that um, quite roundly. I'm afraid. 84, 86 percent. Blimey. Bubbly reef knows. Gold. I think the gold flake is beautiful. There you go. So, someone sensible at last. Mm, Got 200 right. people watching. Only one of them is sensible. <laughs> look, at, uh, look at all the people <laughs> saying majestic looks more expensive, has better color, and you're like, oh yeah, look at this one person that says gold flake. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, okay. Interesting. I thought I was going to win that one. But Someone believe, just said they like bicolor angels. It's interesting. I don't like bicolor angels that much, but I love rock <clears> beauties, <throat> and they're almost the same fish. Rock beauty. Rock yeah, beauty. rock beauty rock is a very beauty. similar, but it's more black than blue, and it's uh, the term. For some uh, reason, boy. I like <laughs> when I see them. They're really nice, like I mean, in the flesh. Yeah. That's why they're on my honourable mentions. Uh, are across, they across. dwarf angels? Uh, no, dwarf they're beauties. like a no. They're, they're like a in the mid range one. All right. Well, we, we'll do um, bicolors probably when we get to uh, to the dwarf angels. But for now, then, yeah, uh, I'm going to win the poll because 86 percent prefer uh, majestic and only 14 prefer the gold flake, which is outrageous. Which is not even remotely surprising. Well, for you. <laughs> But this uh, some, it's funny because sometimes like this, um, like the uh, the, the white tail cold tank, I couldn't believe that people weren't that keen on it. I was like, 
It's amazing. No, I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, no, you won with a white tail cold tang, I think. I did last time, but the, when yeah. we first did it, I talked about it, and people were like, meh, not that bothered. Someone just All said, right. how did the gold flake not win? Because it's a shit fish. <laughs> no, it's not. You're just you're so, such a philistine. <sighs> it's interesting because Jim, I look quite, oh, no, I suppose not always, but sometimes, a lot of the time, some of the more expensive <clears throat> fish don't win. <clears throat> so you know how I obviously I put the king yeah, eye up, yeah. you've put a gold flake up. They're more expensive, yeah. but they're not more necessarily more desirable if you think about it. No, that the gold flake is one that I think is worth the extra money because I think it's so cool. But then that's apparently that's just me. <laughs> so, you and another 14%. Exactly, yeah. Oh, do you know what? This guy, Bandit Angel. Oh, you cannot say that now because that has now come in. That that's now been given to you that idea, I've, and you obviously didn't think of that. No, I that, forgot about the bandit. That was on my list, but I'll cross it off because that. Oh, was... do you know what I should have done? I should have looked at Polo Reef's um, videos because he's got a load of cool angelfish. There well, was you one could just googled like large angelfish because it's much easier than watching videos. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, but he's got the, he's got some niche ones that don't come up very often. That's true. Plus, he's your mate, isn't he? He is my mate. Is he Texas? <laughs> no, it's not. Um, but there's um I wonder yeah, if oh. I wonder if he's ever watched this again and he goes, Why do they <laughs> keep saying that? <laughs> yeah. Uh no, I can guarantee he won't um uh, he won't watch this channel. <laughs> he watched it once. He must have watched it once, otherwise how but would that, he... we, we we talked about this the other week. He, he would have watched it because he wanted to come on. Oh because okay. he, he said invite me on, which was cool, and that's great. Oh, okay. And I would encourage you to do that if um yeah, if you're if you've got a $10 million fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Or uh, if and it, that's the only, are they, they're the only people you're willing to get rid of me for, is it? Tell him $10 million fish tank, they can come on. Yeah. Other than nine that, nine million dollar, not basically. interested. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Okay, so I'm now 2-1 down. So we're going to move on to uh, my next fish. And I've had to chalk a few off because you've cheated and you've used the same one. No, no, no. <clears throat> so... all's, all's fair. I've just crossed gold flake off. I've crossed gold flakes. That was on your list. It was. Well, no it way. wasn't on my list. It was on my list of, of honorable mentions. But when I say honorable, I mean basically the shit ones that you just have to mention. <sighs> so disappointing. All right, fine. Well, in which case, if we go on to my <laughs> next one, and this might be on your list as well. Gold angelfish. And that's not playing. There we go. I didn't. It cut out then. What did you say? scribbled angelfish oh interesting oh, look at that. and this is this is this so this was in the ocean project he's sold now so uh but he was massive <laughs> like dinner plate size yeah they do, we do see big, you can also tell the difference between male and female i don't know how you can but you can, can tell them for, yeah for for scribbled you can um mm. it might be body shape because they do seem to come in different shapes although someone someone might in the comments and tell us why he That's looks actually... like it. he's got. He's, if you look at, if it weren't for his colours, he's got yeah. quite an ugly face. He's got a bit of a, a like an underbite. <laughs> yeah, he looks so a bit like a. I agree. It's a bit of an ugly, ugly fish. I agree. No, with you. no. I said if it weren't for the colours, I was very <laughs> clear on that. I'm going to go uh, for. Oh, am I meant to go? Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's interesting because one of my favourite is an annularis, but that's not what I'm going for. Um, I haven't seen them in a long time, actually. I'm going to go for a clarion angelfish. And if you Google them, it says the holy grail of angelfish. So if this doesn't win, then that Reef Builders article is wrong. <laughs> uh, what did I go for? Scribble, didn't I? Scrib. Yeah. Ooh, scribble. I had scribbles on my list as well, actually. But I can't spell scribbled. Scribbled. Oh, no. That's the problem with scribbled, one of them, I think the males are cool looking and the females are not. They look similar, but they're not as attractive. What, what was your choice, sorry? A clarion. Clarion. Okay. Okay. Clarion. The, with Clarion. the orange and the blue. Yeah. I'm, I don't. I, yeah. I think I'm going to win this one. <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, oh. Look at oh, how, you... how overly comp. Oh, now I'm big. I know. Now... <laughs> there it is. Which which photo do you want? Uh, the live aquarium one? Mm, yeah, that was a cool one. Yeah. Oh, that's reef builder. Sorry. Yeah, that so this is a, this is a juvenile. Actually, to be fair, that's a good photo. They're yeah. like the bright. They're like the brightest. Have you seen one of these in, in person? Yeah, I think that's one of the fish I've got tagged as a, a majestic. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, I, I think so. I, I doubt it because they. You haven't, I haven't seen these in a long time, and unless it was like a lot of money. Oh no, no, no. Sorry. That's a queen angel. No, that's I think it's a queen. It's not a clarion, whatever it is. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Anyway, clarion. So that to be fair, that's a good photo. That I don't. I I don't 
recall seeing many of them, but um, if you look at other photos, they're a bit more drab, especially when they get older, they get bl- they get bland. They they are like the most vibrant colors of orange and blue. It's like strikingly different. And as I said, scribbles. You got you picked a nice a nice view of a scribble. I've seen plenty of ugly scribbles. I can assure you. So oh, I have. <laughs> I've only ever seen nice bright that, colorful ones. It's that one. And it's been... <laughs> that to be fair, that is actually a good view of one. Yeah, yeah. But I yeah, these, was... these are one of the rarer. I wanted to try and introduce some angelfish that people. Hang wouldn't... on a second. What this is. It... Seven and a half thousand dollars. Oh, that's a long time ago. What? Right. Yeah, they were expensive. What are you doing? Did you not know that? This, this was four years ago, five years ago. Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> ah, so you everything. everything watch this as the chat goes crazy. Everything in the last five years in the hobby has come down in price. Mmm. <laughs> as everyone goes, what? <laughs> what did he just say? <laughs> so now, now people have voted. It's about 60 40, but now you've voted. Or so if you haven't voted, and now you know that this is seven and a half thousand dollars. Well, well, well. Scribbled well. is probably a couple of no, hundred. No, it's dollars. it's such a cool it's such a cool fish. Well, with this is this is based on price, Ryan. That's that's what the, the live stream's about. So it's um no, I it's I just think it's actually the vibrant. It's like, no, it's not about price. It's about the colours and how cool they are. <laughs> Why are you trying to change <laughs> change the playing field? Yeah, like money, money bags. bags Ryan, Ryan is at it again. Yeah, exactly. Firstly, I don't own one of these. <laughs> no, well, you've probably got a peppermint angel, haven't you? No, I I, I it's funny because I looked at peppermints earlier, and I just think they're not even that nice peppermints. They're like I think I think Polo has had three and they all died. Yeah, correct. I I think they are. I think they look really cool, actually. To be fair, Ted, you, Ted TJ, by the way, says they look stupid. <laughs> well, he's probably referring to yours, um, and it's just like a, he's he's watching it like five minutes back in the stream. Yeah. No way, Clarion <laughs> is ringing this. Yeah, and now, and this Michael Peachy makes an excellent point. Thank you, Michael. Someone sensible at last. With what? inflation, it'll be 10k now and require a mortgage. Do well, you no, no. basically no, no, no. If you're voting for this fish, <laughs> you're gonna lose your house. No, the king eye angel fish in 2017, I think was like 14 or 15 thousand pounds, and the gem tanks were like 1,200 pounds. So these really pricey fish are coming down in price. I can't think also makes an excellent point. Uh, Clarion gets ugly as adults, they go brown mm. exactly. And look well, at that. Oh god. That's oh. not brown, that's orange. We all know you're colorblind. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Uh, you want you want to pay ten thousand dollars for that? All right, look at that. That's oh, a, that's a dead one, isn't it? <laughs> well, you know, why has it died? Because it was ugly, maybe. <laughs> it died of ugliness. <laughs> I don't know. No. Yeah, okay. But they I mean, they do get a bit bland, joking aside. They do when they get older, they, it's so many fish do, and I think that these guys from the looks of it, and I don't I don't recall seeing many of these in the wild, but they do look like they go a bit drab when they get older. Mm, well. I'd be gutted if I'd paid ten G's for that. Anyway, I think we should move on. Uh I think we should leave the, the No, <laughs> the I think we should move on. Going. I think we should move on. <laughs> Uh, imagine killing three peppermint angels, says Brian Mac. Wait a minute, it's my turn to do next, isn't it? So I'm just going to start on my next one now, so we can end the poll. I can't end the poll. I can't. There's, I can't click the button. So, uh, all right, I'll end it. Fifty six percent currently uh, at, uh, at Clarion. I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it. I'm, I won't cheat. Redo the poll. Fair point, says Dragon Hunter. And what do you mean the redo poll? the poll? That's not a fair point. If people didn't since have the full since information. Since they did redos at any of the polls we've ever done. You lied. We want a recount, basically. How did I lie? You lied. New what evidence what? has come to light. Exactly. What are the cost? Yeah, exactly. You were like, oh, no, it's free, basically. Oh. <laughs> and it turns out it's a million pounds. No, look. It, I'm it disappointed cool in you, color. Ryan. I thought you were better than that. They used. To, I've, only, I've I, There was one shop, and they had three adults in. The shop's now gone bankrupt, probably because they died. <laughs> <laughs> but this is true. They had three adults in. They were all four grand each, and it was probably twelve years ago. It was a little shop in Portsmouth. That was that's the only place I've ever seen them. Um, I know TMC uh, had one, and the only reason I know it because they used it as part of their advertising because it, the stripes on it were an M. If you if you Google Clarion Angel, it probably comes up. But well, obviously you did. Let me see if I can find it. If it comes up easily. But Clarion Angelfish. Oh yeah, there is. Yeah. If, if you if you if you just type in Clarion Angelfish, one of them's gone at, literally at M. Yeah, I can see it. We've yeah, and I think that was at TMC because they used it as part of their advertising. Hang on, it's just loading. Um, okay, I mean that's kind of cool. Uh, McDonald's would like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Quality Marine. Yeah, Quality Marines. I follow them on Instagram. 
it's a, they're based in America, so don't know anything about them. But their photos are just so so good. If you if you like, yeah, if you like good photos of fish, Quality Marine is about the best, as good as it gets. Can we, can so we awesome. start picking my selections from their pictures then, if that's all right? Because I know you like to pick the shit ones for me normally. Uh, no, we can't. It's my uh, live stream, so it's my privilege. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. Uh, right. What's right. your next so, one? Or well, my next off, one? What, what's what's the score? I've got it down as three one. Is it three one? Oh, okay. Yeah. So you go. You 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 serve next, right? Uh, I think so. This is the last round, I think, isn't it? Uh, is right? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um. Uh... Take your time. It's all right. Mm, well, okay, I'm going to go for an annularis anyway. Like that, I'm going to go for an annularis angelfish. Um, that wasn't what I, I was going to go for. Like a really, really, really insanely expensive one, which I'll should use an honourable mention one instead because it's just a white angelfish, but it's really cool. <laughs> uh, so you want this fish? <laughs> this boring. Look, it's the same color <laughs> as the rock behind it. <laughs> Why have you picked that picture? Because it's the first picture that came up. I the, for, the, for the people that are listening to the podcast, you trust me, you want to be here live or you want to watch on YouTube because what he does to me is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he picks the worst. Actually, to be fair, that's actually even that picture is not a bad one. But um, remember, our tanks are usually like have a white sand or or and a black background. So it really like they stand out. You just picked a terrible picture. You picked a terrible fish is more like it. No. And I'm going to go with... No, uh, this bad boy. Firstly, that oh, I was gonna say that's a French angel and French angel. If you, if you want to talk a about Cortez fish, angel, in... oh, cool. that's a French, isn't it? Oh, and it, to be fair, you might be right, but that's that was labelled in the shop as a Cortez angel, and I that's um, what I. It, it could be, but I know I, I need to Google Cortez. I'm not 100 percent sure on those, but all right. Well, that's free. Okay. I thought, to be fair, I googled that before, and I thought that's what a Cortez looked like. But uh, I think we... that's that's a French Cortez. Do you want to put the video back up, just quick? Cortez. Hang on a second. I'm just googling it. <laughs> uh... Oh, you might be right, you know. Oh, photo should. Oh, bubbly reef. Four. Oh, I see. We've we're enemies now, aren't we? All photos should come from the same website, so we'd have to listen to Ryan cry about it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> See, bubbly reef nose. Uh, right, okay. I'm going to put these side by side, and you can decide. I think you might be right. You know. So you've uh, gone for a shit French one, have you? Yeah, oh, that's definitely know. a French. That's okay, all right. Well, it, well, whatever this one is, this is the one I want. <laughs> what the one that moves? Have you seen an adult French angelfish? Oh, is the worst know. looking angelfish of all angelfish. Uh, no, Ryan, look, just, <laughs> just, this, is just Google. Is this just particular Google. fish, Google an adult to. French angel, just please, just no. for like entertainment value. To. And it's just a gray fish. <laughs> Which say, so what would you, you would get you annularis, weren't you? Which I was annularis, you yeah. Prefer annularis, annularis, or uh, French. Ask your community, oh, French angel, they that would be the lowest on my list. That just there's that one particular that particular one on that video is a yeah. very cool looking fish. Can you can we get a picture of an adult French, please, just for um so that everyone can we can wait till I've got a few more votes? <laughs> just out of fairness. Give me give me a sec. I'll get one up. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, what was it? Uh, uh, <laughs> adult um, French angel fish. Yeah. French. Even your vote for me after you see this. <laughs> yeah, I suspect I will. Oh no, they're all right. No, they're not. They're right. Yeah, yeah. No, they're actually, I do you know what? I think they're quite cool. Look at you that. Think what? It's just a grey fish. Just let it let it load. It's got um, specks. That's quite. That's cool. That's I like, like that. a very good picture. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, hang on, let me show you. All right, all right, all right. Look at, the, look at all these others. No, look at all them. <laughs> they are one of the ugliest fish you can get. Oh, I think they're right. I genuinely, they actually, they're, a lot of. A lot of uh, fish get older and get uglier, but these guys, I think they're quite cool. Not really. And they also get massive. They're one of no the No one agrees with people. me, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I'm losing. Oh, I've lost 4-1. That's disappointing. Do you know any... So I don't know anything about these fish. Do you, have you... What, are they going to mow through all your corals, yeah? <laughs> I, I know... Oh, French, they definitely, they definitely eat coral. Um, and as I said... The thing I know about French angels is they are the ugliest angel fish and the worst possible choice. <laughs> this one is the same color, your one, 
It's the uh, 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 the, the rock is like <laughs> that's not a very good picture of an annularis. To be stand. fair, annularis is actually really pretty. They are a bit. They're like bronze colored. Ooh. I like how the picture you've gone for, you've picked for this um, video is a blue lined angel, and neither of us picked a blue blue lined angel. I just picked. It was just. It was on. I've got a, a website that I use that um, gives me free oh, yeah. photos, and that was the oh, yeah, best why one. Are you me? Why are you searching me? <laughs> because of this this photo of the oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. There we go. The annularis. That's an annularis, right? Yeah, it is an annularis. Yeah. Yeah, that's a cool photo. I don't know who yeah. you stole it from. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Um, and they do look nice, but I'm, I'm I've roundly lost that sixty eight percent. Annular is no contest, says Brymac. There you go. See, Brymac uh, is a man of you know great, um, just greatness. <laughs> Not sure where I was going with that. Great uh, taste in angelfish. There you go. I like weird fish. <laughs> it's funny. <isn't> it? there's, <laughs> Not there's, good I don't stuff. mind the adult. I know. Yeah, I laughed as I said that. There's I don't mind the adult French. And bear oh, yeah. in mind, Alex, Alex is colorblind. It says. I know, and will will uh, we it's have more about the pattern than the shirt. colors? <laughs> bear in mind, yeah. James says, bear in mind, Alex is colorblind. Much more about the patterns than colors for him. Yeah, exactly. Just. Like I just see lines. <laughs> I like it. it says Wolf Will Reef Habitat. I might Reef Habitat 90. I might buy a French angelfish. If that's your tank, don't buy a French angelfish because it'd be bigger than the tank. I'm assuming the um, Reef Habitat 90 yeah. is not a big tank. 90 centimeters or 90 liters. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just just for yeah, just for sake of clarity, I'm not colorblind. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> for, the, for those just of you who sake, don't watch this all the time. Clarity, <laughs> um, what color is a sunset Montepore again? It's red orange. and green for you, isn't it? No, no, it's orange. I oh, know. We all remember no. the days. We all remember the days when it was yeah. red and orange, red and green. <laughs> no, don't know what you're talking about. So, um, but there we go. So, uh, uh, and when Alex, you're getting the trophy cabinet behind you, Alex, you Alex has stopped sending me trophies because I win so many, and it's costing him too much money. <laughs> Alex has stopped sending trophies because he can't be asked to print them anymore. But <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't want you to anyway. It's a waste. It's like know, you've got enough plastic. Just, I don't need a plastic trophy. <laughs> this is very true. And Jamie's reef says, Alex, do, uh, if you want to win, do a poll on the best tasting art. Well, that's obvious. If you uh, would Mike. like that thing that people were referring to the other day as a butthole compared to you know <laughs> an actual butt, where is it? There. <laughs> Right, well, I'm ending that poll, and it's seventy-two. Ryan actually convinced me you were colorblind. Uh, yeah, I know. So that's that's why it's like I'm actually colorblind. <laughs> but it's it's like a running joke. Um, yeah. And yeah, and will will we have that ninety years old joking? It's a three foot deck, ninety cm. Um, all right. Well, so we got we have some other uh, 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 honorable honorable mentionies, right? Yes. What were your other ones? <laughs> Uh, this one I'd like to get a picture up of because this is the one I sent to you the other day and you went, what is that? And I went, I don't know, it's an angelfish. <laughs> uh, this is a, I believe it's a genicanthrus angelfish. So it is a reef safe one. And it is a Takichi angelfish or Takichi. So T-A-K-E-U-S, no, sorry, U-C-H-I angel. You got it? Have you got the this, picture? This looks like a, um, I've got the same photo you sent me. This to yeah. me looks like damselfish. <laughs> That is a cool looking fish. And I wanted to show people um, that's a cool this photo. Well, that's actually the juvenile. That's why it looks so small. So these are the adult versions, but the juvenile looks amazing. It does. I like the shape actually of that guy. I think they're cool. But that that photo looks like it's that doesn't look like a natural coloring to me. <laughs> well, I just thought I just thought I want to show people on these streams fish that they haven't seen. Because sure, you know, I can spend all day winning with regal angels <laughs> and majestic angels, but you've all seen a regal and a majestic before. So I'd wanted to show you something you hadn't seen. Is this and one I a thought, personatus? Uh that was that was on my list. I was good. I was going to have that it's instead of the annularis, but they're like 30 grand, aren't they, for a pair? What? Uh, what is it? Oh, it is a person artist. Yeah, yeah. it is a person artist. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. They're, they're yeah, they, yeah. Oh. Uh, my mate's got one of them. He's oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he does have a few. I think he's got three females, I think. Maybe, yeah. And that, so this is, so we talked about earlier, um, true reef safe angelfish. Genicanth, yeah. angelfish of the genus Genicanthus. Yes. So Genicanthus semifasciatus. Genicanthus, Melanopspinos, Spilos, various others are actually properly reef safe. I think they're a deep. Are they a deep water fish? Don't know. There's, there's some. There's, there's, there's. They just don't eat corals, basically. Get our favorite one up. The semi fasciatus one. You know, the one we I'm like. Gonna, uh, instead, okay. I'm going to get up the Genicanthus 
Melanos Belos. That's Mel- just the normal swallowtail, isn't it? Melanos Belos. Uh, it is. And the reason I was going to go for this one is because this is, I think this is the prettiest of the readily available Genicanthus species. Red- is- well, okay, readily available, yes. but Yes, yes, yes. Because the masked swallowtail, this is, in the UK, these are called swallowtail. Apparently they're called spot breast in the States, but I, I know these as a swallowtail angel. And you see these quite regularly. They're not as nice as the masked swallowtails, the Japanese ones. Yeah, yeah. But they're cool. And you see, and they're they do get the 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 male gets quite big, to be fair. But you can get them in pairs, which is cool anyway. And they, they won't eat coals. They change gender. They can change, I believe, both from female to male and then from male back to female. So um sometimes you'll buy a nice stripy male <laughs> for a lot of money, they usually they're quite expensive, the males, and then it will turn into a female. <laughs> Gutted. Well, it's, so I, there's a guy, a guy I know, Abbas, who's got, um, I think he's got three of these. He's got uh, two females and a male, I believe. I wonder if that would help keep them, they keep it from transitioning back into I a female. I can't remember. He, he did tell me about it, but I can't remember what he said. Um, but uh, and actually, so Tej, 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 TJ <laughs> makes a good point. Genicanthus are so bland. They are pretty bland. In comparison to yeah. other and, angelfish, yes. Exactly. And and this and they're only they're only really consider that people only really get them because they are they're a reef safe angel. If they're like they're, they're not as pretty as, as normal angels. I mean they, like if you think about it, if they were named giant damselfish, you you like they don't look like the other angelfish, do they? They're not even the same shape. So no, why are no. they considered an angelfish? What we don't what is classified well, as an angelfish if anyone in the comments knows then like what makes it an angelfish there'll be you know, like, some kind of taxonomy yeah you know, but well you know tangs obviously most of them are surgeon fish and they have little blades okay. and things like that so is there something specific which makes a dwarf or, or an adult or a large or a reef safe one because they're all very different aren't they they are yeah yeah very different but it's weird because like there's the, the the word fish is applied to millions of different species that basically the only thing they've got in common is they live in water it would be like calling a, oh, yeah, a, yeah. it'd be like having the same name for a bird and an elephant because <laughs> they wait, 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 wait. what about amphibians they, they live in water but they're not classified as fish uh, well yeah but the, but the point is there oh, are they also billions, live out of water as well don't they that's true but there are billions of, of or, or millions of choices of fish and like a whale shark is a fish in the same way that a neon tetra is a fish. Well, they're oh, not true, the same. Yeah, they're true. nothing like the same. So it's like, I love it when you can tell that there's new, there's new viewers where it's their first time viewing. Look at Max L's comment. <laughs> uh, bro got titties on his wall. <laughs> I like so what, put... well, I've been doing this live stream for months and sitting here for months with those pictures there. And, and don't get me wrong. When I first started doing these live streams, everyone commented on them and now no one's commented on them for ages. <laughs> So you can tell who the new viewers are. Um, all right. So there was. So that was another one I wanted to show was a spot breast. What else have you got? Uh, I've mentions? got obviously the blue. Uh, we, a mast angelfish was the mast. Which one's that? The Japanese. That, the Japanese mast. Yeah. We talk it, about this basically every five minutes. <laughs> I know because like one day it will come in and I want and I'll buy it and I'll just I'll just be like, look how no, that's a shit one. That's the that's, pretty one. No. Can we do a poll? Which one of these is prettier? In fact, I think we did no, a poll. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't disagree. This. I, I'm just saying. I prefer. This is. This Look. is reef bum fish. You're, you, are you saying you hate reef bum? <laughs> That's what I've heard. So. I. Um, I look if anyone in the whole of the UK sees a male one of these, or you own a male one and you want to get rid of it, even if you own a male one, I'm just intrigued who who owns them. <laughs> Like they must, they they're called Japanese mass swallowtails. They must come from Japan, but do. you just can't get them. You can't even order them. No. So I've been trying for no. ages to get one, and I would it would be the sweetest thing ever if a female came in and I bought it, so just so I could show it to you every week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The other one, actually, the other uh, the Bellis angelfish, another Genicanthus. These are quite cool, I think, actually. Um. And I came close to buying, I've come close to buying these on a couple of occasions. Actually, there's a good photo. That's a male and a female. Yeah. So again, sexually dimorphic, if you want to sound posh. I really don't like those angelfish. I've okay. never liked them. I don't know why. I just, are you lagging? If you want to uh, cut yeah. this shorter today, then it's we, we, we probably will. We're coming to the end of our um, our um, honourable mentions anyway. But yeah. But you don't like these. I've just, I've never, ever, ever wanted that. Female, I've, I've seen them, and males are all right, 
but I've never wanted that female. Je- um, it's a Lamarx, isn't it? Or is it a Lamarx? Uh, no, that's a Bellis. They're both Bellis. They're, uh, oh, Bellis. What's a Lamarx angelfish? A Lamarck. They've got the long um, fins, long rear fins, haven't they? Lamarck. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know which one of the Lamarcks. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I've, ne- well, I've never wanted either of them. Oh, no, 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 no. These, these, so these are Lamarcks. But the Lamarcks, the Lamarcks are a bit boring. And even like the Bellis, it's it's okay for a Genocanthus, but it's still a bit. Um, uh... I think the problem with them is that they're blue and our lights are heavily yeah. blue, which means they, they're washed out in our in our tanks usually. The um the Bellis Angels. They're just yeah. not for me. Maybe not in your tank because you have really white lights. <laughs> I don't care about that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, okay, fair enough. Um it's in right, no so way yeah. the same as comparing an elephant to a bird. <laughs> some of some of the things that we come up with, the people are like, no, I definitely know. not right. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like I know, yeah, all right, fair enough. That's a that's a fair point. But um anyway, uh 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 uh, uh right. Not my next honorable mention. That oh, is a dwarf is... that not a dwarf, that is a juvenile cream angel. That's not an adult. Okay, well, either way, that's uh, we're gonna we're gonna say so those of you watching will have noticed that I've disappeared again. <laughs> These are the best parts of live stream. I don't have to look at you anymore, and we just got to get to look at fish. But you can still hear me, so that's all right. And that's a shame, I know. If I can mute you as well, I deal. <laughs> it's my sensual voice that people tune in for, so. Um, I think you just put people off their dinner. I know, yeah. Uh, Anna back. Hey. Uh, so this is, I. so you don't like these guys, partly, but I, so they, they do get ugly when they're older. But I think you... No, I you, think I, I prefer the adult colour The 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 patterns really? on the adults are actually quite nice. That is a juvenile. I've never seen a juvenile. I've, yeah, I've the, never seen an adult. <laughs> oh, the crisscross patterns on them were actually quite nice. I just oh, definitely I didn't. That. You like that, but you don't like the grey angelfish I like, the Cortez or the Queen or the King, whatever it was. <laughs> I no. no, I don't like it that much, as I said. I actually bought it on an <laughs> impulse once. I went in to buy an annularis. They went, the annularis you reserved didn't survive because it arrived mm-hmm. upside down in a box. And they went, well, we've got this cream. I was like, mm, it's not really the same, but I want an angelfish, so go on then. <laughs> yeah, okay. That was one of those impulse buys where I put it in. It's just attacked everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Well, what else have you got on your list of... Uh, uh, of I've got a conspic. Conspic. You've got millions as well on your list, haven't you? Conspic. I, I've got. I've only got four more. Conspic. Oh, what the hell is... Right. Hang on a second. Uh, conspic. Oh, these are... Actually, these are quite cool, to be fair. Although these are a fish that if they... If they weren't expensive, you wouldn't want it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I I still I do think they're cool. Oh, how come? It's it oh, literally look, it's called the it's, ugly duckling. <laughs> that's how it is. I've never seen it as a junior, but okay. they do look cool. But I mean, ten grand or twenty grand. Hang on. I don't think they're that expensive, mate. No, 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 two, no, 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 two no, grand. You, so not only are you color blind, you're also just normally Can't blind. Read. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, that's uh, yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not I'm a huge fan of them. I have seen them in person. I saw them right. at Reef of Palooza or Magna. They had a whole tank full of them because they had bred them. I think it was. I think it was those. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, okay. But they just they don't really do it for me. But it's just one of those fish which is just an honourable mention. All right. What else have you got? <clears throat> uh, West African Angel was the one I wanted to show you earlier because the juveniles are cool of those, but the adults are boring, which is why I didn't actually use it as part of one of my. Yeah, things. yeah. So this the juveniles is are cool. They're one of the coolest juveniles, like the like the vibrant purpley blue on them. I presume these are uh, from Africa. <laughs> oh, look how expensive they! Are. I didn't even know they were that expensive. Seven hundred, yeah. Bloody hell. Where's West Africa? Like Kenya? Is Kenya West Africa? what it turns into, though. And it's, imagine paying $600 <laughs> or $700 for that, and it turns into into this brown fish. I mean, it's kind of no, goldy, yellowy. Not really. That's if kind you of wanted like, to like it, you could like it. but uh, That's like almost vomit coloured. <laughs> yeah, this is true. It's not, it's not the prettiest fish in the world, is it? No, so I've, I, I, if it stayed as a juvenile, I'd go, yeah, that price would be worth it. If it grew it when it grows into an adult, you'd be like, oh, that was not money well spent. <laughs> so, but I, as I said, I wanted to show a few that we didn't see. Uh, Flagfin, which is very similar uh, to the it's poor like a, man's gold flake. Yeah. Poor man's gold flake, but still ni- nicer. It's not nicer. No way they're nicer. That's nicer than a gold flake. Definitely nicer than a gold flake. It's not. It's, okay. Have you, have you seen these in the flesh? You must have Come seen on, these in the pull, flesh. Pull, right? pull a pole up. Oh, Let's God. see if that's nicer than the gold flake. Gold flake. Have you, you've seen these in the flesh, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Do they look as they good as that? They've got lovely, beautiful lipsticks. 
Oh, you're, that's uh, that sounds sexual to me. I'm <laughs> starting to worry about you a little bit, to be honest. Well, I did say how attractive uh, fish were earlier, didn't I? Look at those they're... beautiful blue lips. <laughs> <sighs> they're so nice, aren't they? Some of those cross, uh, they're like um, hybrids. Yeah. They're, they're, they're such they're such nice fish. Even the gold flakes don't want to bang each other. They want to cool. they want to go for the flag fins. Oh, uh, all right. Let me do a poll. I've got a nasty feeling I'm going to lose this one. I, I, I'm not actually sure because they're very very similar fish. It's just the the flag fin is slightly brighter colour. It's like that yellow tang kind of yellow. But they're bo boring yellow, I think. No. Flag fin or gold flake. Uh, bubbly reef is just she's. Uh, I, but it, it, Bubbly Reef a lady. I, I assume you are. She I think is, you yeah. mentioned. Yeah, I, I, yeah, you mentioned mm. once that it was Bubbly Reef was a lady. Uh, love those blue lips. See, there's another. Ah. Linda, Linda loves <laughs> some blue lips too. Um, and what was I going to say? Uh, looks like a lemon peel. I love it. I mean, lemon peels are, 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 are of different color yellow. They're just so bright. The flag fins. I've seen them in the shops, and they're just a bit boring. Well, not the as only reason. As gold flake, the only reason to buy a flag fin is because you can't afford a gold flake. Mm, no, it's like, it's like buying a Porsche Boxster instead of a Porsche Nine. I like how you didn't put a gold picture of a gold flake up next to it to show to show both of them. Oh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not. I'm not trying to do. That. I just I just can't be bothered. <laughs> you're just, you're just purple, because we, we, if you put them next to each other, you'll see there's such a difference in coloration. Uh, all right, I'm going to do it in that case. Oh, flake Englefish. Uh, that picture. Uh, hang on a second. All right, take your time. It's not like people are watching. Don't worry. Uh, okay, okay. All right. You want to? It's like a lemon peel that's in danger of hypothermia with those lips. It's true. It's not a bad way of looking at it. All right, here we go. So, two photos side by side. Okay, yeah. So, it's... which one is which one's got nicer coloration? The gold flake. It's as clear as anything. Yeah, one so... of them is basically brown, and the other one is like the most vibrant yellow color. That's a boring yellow. These are these are good photos of the flag. Screen. They're not. They don't look that nice in in the flesh. These uh, don't. That's, I know that's what you say when you're losing. Well, you know, <laughs> flag fin. Let's go for both live aquarium photos. Ah, that's a good photo. They don't look as nice uh, as that. I think right, they do but... look as nice there. I actually think there's not. I think they look nicer than that picture. Well, I'm gonna, I'm, it's a close poll, to be fair. Uh, and I think instead of instead of going on who votes, we should just pick a random comment. I'll pick this one. Uh, oh, oh, gold flake is much nicer. Mm, I didn't realize. Yeah, that. not so sure. Not so sure. Uh, uh, is a lemon peel lips. reef safe? A lemon peel. I have had a lemon peel in a reef tank. Uh, they are one of the less reef safe dwarf angels. Um, but they. Oh, reef safe is a really, really bad way of describing fish. Like people, it's, it, people yeah. assume that reef safe means it, you either can or can't keep it with corals. But the reality is, there are lots of fish which are not considered reef safe that you can keep with some corals. So, mm. if someone only has SPS and they put a, a lemon peel in, they're likely to have some success with it. But and then that person might tell everyone that they're all reef safe, but they're not. Mm. If you've got a soft coral tank, for example. So, I would love for the, that that reef safe term to be outdated. And a, a more accurate representation, so we're we're not safe with acans, for example. But the the trouble is, so like I've seen people say that before and say, you know, reef safe is just too generic, and you know, it's not a very good description. But yeah. you, you, if you want more than that, you need more words. So that for just two words, is it reef safe? Yes or no? That gives you the indication. So if something is it reef safe with caution, and what yeah. that means is go and do your research. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, and if so, I think that's. I still think reef safe is the best. There is no better way of doing it, with without being so punchy. Yeah, no, like, I, I but, suppose people want to very, very quickly. They want they want instant information. They look at it and go yes or no, yeah. um, and, and then to choose whether to buy it. But as I said, there's plenty of corals that you can keep with certain fish. Just as there's plenty of corals that are, even a regal angel will eat. You're smiling at something, but I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> uh, uh, easy way to get a gold flake, put a lemon peel through a cheese grater. Yeah, see? Yeah. Um, Basically, oh, go. <laughs> gold flake has lost twice today, and it's actually somehow, even the bonus round, it's now 5-1. Uh, this has yeah, been the, this has been the right. biggest landslide, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's 4-1, actually. That's that's cheating. So, yeah. No, no we, just did a, we just did a bonus round. No, that doesn't count. What was else? the one you won? uh at emperor against whatever oh yeah yeah that was it was it was almost guaranteed an emperor i would have been interested to put up an emperor against a regal angel just as because that's what i thought you were going to go for 
If you put those okay. two up against each other, I think it'll be quite close. I would think I'm going to do that. I would think uh, the Regal will win. Which do mm, you well, I, like I said, I don't know, but I assumed that the um, I assumed that an Emperor would have probably would. Have, I think it'll be close. All right, we'll find out. In terms of coloration, I think. Mm, no, I still prefer the regal. <laughs> this question's been posted about a thousand times. I have seen it, I just haven't got to it, so apologies. I'm oh. going to answer it now. <laughs> Can either write, Alex, or Ryan, tell me which they prefer a copper band butterfly fish or a margined coral fish? I think, I, is it a margin? I can't, yeah, is that the, the right name? For I it? think it's uh, a marginalis butterfly fish. Marginalis, that's it, yeah. yeah, yeah they, like I think they look boring, personally. They're just missing half the stripes with the copper band. I believe they are a lot more expensive, the marginalis. Um, angelfish, um, and no, oh, sorry, butterfly fish, but they are meant to be hardier than a copper band. I don't know mm. how true that is. I had one which ate coral, <laughs> so uh, okay. and, and it was a big one. They got they usually, generally, when you see these, they're quite big as well. So I have copper bands which eat coral. I've got one that I see eating coral basically all day, every day. I just, I just <laughs> let it go to town and let it. It's, it's 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 like it keeps anything bad down. So I just I let it eat the um the favias as well. <laughs> I, it only needs one favia. I've got this massive favia. And it's just slowly but surely munching its way through it. Is it the expensive one? No, it's just a cheap Ooh, favia. They basically some favias come in quite. You get um, when you import, you usually get like a random favia in part of a mystery box when you, when you order them. Mm -hmm. They're not hugely popular, and um. For whatever reason, they are hugely popular with, with my butterfly fish. <coughs> but, yeah, I, I, th I just think that I, I don't, I'm not really, because I think they look boring compared to a copper band. I'm not interested in if they're reef safe, they're hardy, anything. I just think that I, they're just boring for me. Well, I, but if they're hardier, it, maybe they're a better think, choice. They might be better, band. but then again, they're also a lot more expensive generally as well. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. So good luck with that. Are they from Oz? I think so, yes. Okay, they well. might be from other places, but I'm pretty sure they're from there oh, as well. Yeah, probably. Fish from Australia are, are more expensive than fish from other places in the world. Um, and this is a, a, a what's it called? A, a suggestion for another live stream. Would you do a session on best reef safe fish? Yeah. Uh, there's, I mean, there's a lot of options. We'd have to keep it, it wouldn't it be top be, 10. <laughs> yeah. It, it's top like 100. There'd be so many. And how can you pit like a yellow tang against a hawkfish? They're too different. <laughs> Yeah, this and, and this is so the thing. Like, I've made videos about this, like with fish suggestions and like best fish for a, a reef tank or whatever. And yeah. I always get comments saying, What about X fish? And yeah. it's like, and, the, and it's, it's, I can understand it, but it's like the reason that I haven't listed all these other fish is because I'm, tr I don't want to make the video six hours long. <laughs> and also, what it like, what is, what is considered reef safe as well? Because, uh, so I just yeah. said a hawk fish, and you have a hawk fish, you have multiple hawk fish in your yeah, reef yeah. tank. But hawkfish also eat shrimp. <laughs> so, That's, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so are they a, are they reef safe or not? <laughs> a, a properly reef safe fish is something like a, a clownfish or yeah. a royal grammar, something that won't bother anything basically. Yeah, or sorry, yeah. won't <laughs> they might clownfish might be aggressive, but they won't they won't eat uh, corals or invertebrates. Yes. Yeah. So and there's loads of those, but there's, there's just too many. That's pretty. Uh, Bubby Reef saw a copper band snorkeling in Cambodia. There's a song called Holiday in Cambodia. It's a holiday in Cambodia. Dead candy? No, mind. Anyway. <laughs> I've never heard of that, but don't do that ever again. On behalf of me and all the other people, never sing to us again. <laughs> no, I don't have the best singing voice. Uh, all right, Reef Safe, a.k.a. Boring Fish. Whoa, hot take, that is. I don't I think agree. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a controversial thing to say. It's, if you think about it, the reason he's saying boring fish actually means commonly available fish generally because and the reason they're commonly available is because everyone can have them but i mean but, there are plenty of, of 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 fish that are commonly available that aren't reef safe uh that's also true yes that is true but, but i think so some of the so to be fair to that comment some of the the most awesome fish are not reef safe <laughs> yes <laughs> or at yes. least reef safe with caution but i still think there are there are so many awesome fish that are reef safe. there are loads of fish which are reef safe that are also rare so and and those aren't boring. So basically, are you telling me a candy basslet is a boring fish? Because I don't bassler, think candy... no. no, 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 no. That's not a boring no, fish. I completely agree. No, I, I completely cool agree. Fish. I just think that, but there are lots of there are lots of fish that some of some of I think 
if I don't know some of the most cool fish are are non reef safe. Yeah. There's a couple of other questions I'm going to get too quickly. Michael Peachy says he's got a strawberry shortcake that's been brownie pink for around five months. I'm struggling to get its color up. Any ideas as to why? It's the only SPS that hasn't fully colored up for some reason. Mine took eighteen months to color up. It went. Just it was brown. <laughs> it was greeny. Like it just wasn't that nice color. It took ages, and it did. It hardly grew in that time at all. But if you're doing all the right things, so you've got loads of uh, like a big blanket of light, a ton of flow. Um, your nutrients are right, all those sorts of things. Uh, it it will come. So I would leave it, and I just left mine. I was just like, I'm just not going to touch it, and and then it eventually got awesome. And another question in your uh, video, you said that you aim for 35 parts per million salinity, which is what I was running. But my LFS said that that was too high, and nobody runs that high, so I lowered it. What are the pros and cons? Uh, that's 1.026, right? Yeah, I I don't know. I don't work in. I think well, it, it is. is. Oh, it's so yeah. thirty. I think I think the the most people say the range is thirty three to thirty five parts per yeah. thousand, and one point oh two four to one point oh two six maybe. I might the coral farms run at one point oh two five to one point oh two six. So that yeah. that is the range I would go for. So yeah. which I think is thirty four to thirty five parts per thousand roughly. So I, I it doesn't really as long as it it doesn't matter as long as it's around there if you're 30 so my main tank actually settled out at 34.4 parts per thousand so far that's when it's recovered that's what it's recovered to yeah yeah and and that's fine 34 parts per thousand is fine 35 parts per thousand is fine it doesn't matter don't don't stress as long as you as long as you're roughly in the same place it's cool you're not going to see a difference well, at least i don't so, think you're what you're saying that the the fish that was wrong is that what you're saying that's what i heard uh i heard you saying yes. they're wrong <laughs> yeah <laughs> actually i am because well because so yeah in a way because what, what they were saying is the part they were saying is wrong oh, oh, one comment uh was that it was too high nobody runs it that high loads of people do i run it that high exactly so uh so it's not i so, have thousands I'm, of cars like individual pieces exactly but so it's not so but the, but like 35 i'm not so i run my tank i aim for 35 parts per thousand i'm not yeah. saying that's the right thing and that's what you should do but it's it's perfectly fine if you run it at that level you'll be okay is 34 parts per thousand fine? Yeah. Also fine. Ugly Reef says she's way over. You don't want to be over. I'll tell you that. No. Uh, Bubbly Reef, where are you? Uh, so I'm like way over. Yeah. but I, So uh, the, the times I've had major problems in my tank have been salinity. And the last time when I had coral stripping, I was a few parts per thousand over. And that seemed to do more damage than going under. Under, yeah, yeah. Although I might have been over for longer, I, so I can't be sure. But I had made, when I went over, I went. I had big problems. Shamila Butters asking if we're going to love to reef. I didn't know it was on. But I I won't be going. I'll um, be I'll be away, so I'll be I won't be in the country then. But there you go. So there look, go. both of us both of us mysteriously not available, but we're not going to be together. Just to clarify, I know I know there's rumours going be around. On my honeymoon, Ryan. Because <laughs> so, I mean, I know we're mates. Well, people but... already think that when I said I was coming to your wedding, that it was, it was our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> so if we both disappear when you're on the honeymoon, that also is weird. <laughs> All righty. Well, I'm going to wrap it up now. Ryan, is there anything else you want to say no, before we go? I'm tired as well. So, <laughs> Okay, fine. Well, thank you very much for joining everybody and uh, we will see you next week. Probably oh, wait, wait there's always one thing I like to say at the end, isn't there? I tell them to go buy some coral. <laughs> buy some coral from Signature Frags. Uh, oh, really mean. Proper, or, or the Coral Centre. A good, oh, good online mean. shop. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Cheers. Right, see you later. Yeah.